Yeah, good night. It's in the middle of the night right now, uh, but I came up with a subject I like to discuss. Uh, it's a topic that uh, many atheists or many uh, other people um, are asking. And the question is, okay, if there is a God, why not, uh, w why the God of the Bible? Why not Vishnu? Why not Allah of the Muslims? Why not um, uh, 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 the God of the Bhagavad Gita? Why not in a Buddhistic way? Why, why not the, the, the God of the, uh, of the other, of the, 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 the pagans, the, the Wicca God, Diana, or whatever kind of God? Why the God of the Bible? If God is there, then why God of the Bible? Why Jesus Christ? Why the Holy Spirit? Well, the answer is plain. It, it's a fair question. It's, it's a good question. It's a fair and honest question. Why, if you worship God, why the God of the Bible? Well, to that uh, answer, I'm going to Deuteronomy 28. I'm not going to read it entirely. I'm going to read it partly because it's a long chapter. But the answer is plain and simple. Um, hmm. Well, Deuteronomy 28. Maybe I have to listen. Deuteronomy uh, 8, uh, 28 is dealing about the blessing and the curse. Um, there's one part uh, that is, is mentioning uh, Deuteronomy 28 from verse 1 to uh, verse 14 that deals about the blessings. Um, if you listen to God and if you do as God uh, pleases and if you do as God wants you to do, and uh, Jesus is God, so so for, for that reason also what, what Jesus wants us to do, uh, and also the Holy Spirit wants us to do, uh, they belong together, um, then these blessings you will get. Yeah? But, and that starts from verse 15, 20, uh, Deuteronomy 28 verse 15. If you, don't, if you do not listen to the Lord your God, if you don't listen to, to what God, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit wants, then there is also a list of curses that will come over you. And um, here it says, I'll start from verse 15. I'm not going to read it entirely because there is it's about, uh, what is it, uh, 68 uh, um, 68 verses, you got re read it out yourself, but um, it, it's a long chapter, but these are all curses. But if you don't listen to the Lord of your, uh, the Lord your God, and do not uh, do all his commandments and uh, proclamations that I commanded you today, uh, then the next curses all will come over you. Cursed shall you be in the city and cursed on the field. Cursed shall your trough, uh, uh, your basket and your trough be. Cursed shall be the, the fruit of your uh, uh, womb, the fruit of your uh, soil and the, the, the fruit of, of your flocks. Cursed shall you be at your entrance and your uh, outgoings. The Lord shall over, uh, bring over you a curse. Um, um, the, 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 Okay, curse and, and uh, distortion, uh, or uh, uh, not a distortion, but verwarring, 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 verwarring. I'll get that to you uh, when I know it. And all kinds of threats come over you in everything what you uh, do and uh, undertake, uh, so that you are being uh, wiped out and go uh, uh, down uh, quickly because of the evilness of your deeds, because you have left me. The Lord shall bring the plague unto you and until it has wiped away you from the country that you have taken into possession. The Lord shall beat you with the pestilence, fever, fire, inflammations, drought, um, 
a sickness to uh, grains and uh, uh, all kinds of uh, vegetables that you grow. And you, uh, th they shall persecute you uh, uh, so that you are going down and, and, and be wiped out. Also shall the, the heaven uh, above your head be of copper and the earth uh, underneath you of iron. The Lord shall bring powder and dust over your ca uh, country and let it rain, uh, the, the powder and dust. And from the heaven uh, it shall uh, descend up, uh, upon you so that uh, until you are uh, um, wiped out. The Lord shall um, uh, deliver you defeated uh, in the hands of your enemy. Well, if, if you read all this, it's not funny what, what's going to happen. I'll read some, some um, uh, along one way you will pull uh, uh, against them, but uh, uh, along seven ways you will run for them. So, uh, so that you, you will be as a, a terrifying picture for, the, for all kingdoms on the earth, as an example. Your bodies shall be as a food for all the birds of the heaven and the animals of the earth, some, uh, without that, uh, anybody um, scares them away. The Lord shall beat you with Egyptian uh, um, plagues, with um, bruises and, um, and scurvy and all kinds of illnesses, where, where you cannot be cured from. The, the Lord shall be, uh, beat you with insanity, blindness, and um, mind uh, boggling, no, mind uh, um, no, whatever. You read it yourself. Yeah, it's, it's not. It's not funny what you have said. Um, well, all, all kinds of curses that you will get, and further on in first uh, forty-three, you actually see more and more shall the a stranger in your midst uh, go above you and rule over you, while you are sinking lower and lower and lower. He shall give you to uh, to uh, to loan, but you uh, but you will not loan to him, and he shall be the head, and you will be the tail. You, you will be suppressed, and then all these curses shall come over you and um, follow you and and uh, hit you until you are wiped out because you did not listen to the voice of the Lord your God and his commandments and uh, things that he told you to do um, because you didn't do them. Uh, they shall be amongst you like signs and wonders uh, for your uh, descendants forever because you uh, did not give the Lord your God uh, with joy uh, and serve him with joy because of, uh, because of all your wealth The, the Lord sh God shall shall let your enemy raise against you and uh, hunger and thirst and in nakedness and you will suffer a lack of everything. He shall put an iron yoke on your uh, neck uh, until you are wiped out. The Lord God shall do against you a people that comes from far, from the end of the earth, as an eagle uh, 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 is, is flying a people where you do not understand the language from, a hard people that do not uh, look upon the old man and do not prove mercy until a young guy, and that all he, he will take uh, all the the fruit of your flocks and eat the fruit of your um, um, soil, the, 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 the vegetables. Uh, until you uh, until you are wiped out, so that you will not have uh, 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 corn or uh, must must uh, young wine or oil. He will not leave that for you, nor the the um, the fruit of your uh, um, flocks and your uh, um, how we say cattle until you are uh, beaten down entirely. Mm -hmm. 
here also uh, in, in verse uh, 58, if you do not um, keep all the words that are in the law that are written in this book, and if you do not fear the name of the Lord your God, then the Lord your God shall uh, um, cast, uh, chastise you with a uh, fierce and um, striking beats and the evil uh, and evil plagues. So it's it's, it's not fun, uh, folks. Yeah, we'll, we'll read it. It's not a fun part, but that happens if you do not listen to the Lord your God, Jesus Christ, the Holy Spirit, and God the Father, who is one God. Um, and folks. This has been proven in history to be correct. If you look at the Incas, if you look at the Aztecs, if you look at the Mayas, if you look at the Indian people in America, if you look at the African continent, if you look at the Indian people, if you look at all the people who did not worship God, the God of the Bible, in history, if you look at those people if, over the over the hundreds of years of history, and you look in, 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 in reference to that, you look to the European history, and the Christianity was rising in Europe, and Europe became prosperous. Okay, it, it didn't happen from one to the other day. It, it took some time, of course. But if you look at the history of uh, and all the peoples all, all over the world, then only those places were blessed where the Christianity had chance to rise and rose and rose actually. I mean Europe was a prosperous, uh, prosperous uh, continent until recently that the Christianity is declining again and what happens unemployment is rising, wars are starting, uh, uh, um, the financial problems are uh, uh, starting uh, etc. Uh, Europe is declining folks financially and economically and politically, Europe is declining. Same as happens to America. Uh, America used to be a Christian nation, and the Christianity is declining uh, um, since, since a couple of de decades. And ever since the, the, the Christianity is de declining in America, also the economy is going bad, the politics is going bad, etc., 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 the stranger uh, the, from faraway countries are coming to our countries and take, they are trying to take over and, and they succeed more and more and more. And it's exactly as Deuteronomy 28 uh, um, uh, predicts. Why? Why is it happening? Well, God puts blessing if you worship him, if you accept him. So that is why the God of the Bible. If you do not do that, if you pay attention to, to, to other gods or, or no God at all in atheism, then God can never bless you. He can only curse, bring the curses because then God is pulling away his blessing hands and who comes along is the devil. And the devil wants to destroy you. And the devil is, is, is present in, in all religions except the Christianity religion and in the Jewish, the Christian Judeo uh, religion. Um, and that is why the God of the Bible, because the God of the Bible wants, wants, wants to be recognized as the one and only true God. And that brings along blessings. If you, if you go to Vishnu, Vishnu or you go to, to, to the Allah of the Muslims, or you go to uh, uh, whatever kind of God, or, or you don't believe in God at all as an atheist, then there will be no blessing. You will be wiped out instead. And that's what the Bible is telling. And that is what history is also telling. Folks, listen to these words and save, your own, save, save yourself and save your country. That's why the God of the Bible is God. You can check history on, upon it. Uh, Europe became prosperous when it accepted Jesus Christ, the God of the Bible, and lived by the rules of the Bible. Same thing for America. I mean, the Europeans went all over the world. They were prosperous. They get the herbs from, from India and tea from Ceylon, etc., etc. They traveled the world. They were rich. Okay, there were also mistakes we'll make, uh, of course, but they do not out outweigh the prosperity that Europe has gained 
due to Christianity. America, the same thing. America became prosperous when it actually was a Christian nation, and now it's leaving Christianity. It goes down. Simple as that. I mean, in China, every day Christians are rising. Chinese people become more and more Christian-like, and the economy is rising. So uh, you can see both happening in our days, happening, folks. So that's it. that is why the only there's only one reason why another people become stronger is to and who is not worshiping God is to punish the ones who are leaving God. That's what you see in with Israel. Israel uh, uh, started to neglect God in the days of Nebuchadnezzar. What happens? God rose up the the the, the, the Nebuchadnezzar Empire and they conquered Israel and they took him to Babylon. Yeah, that's the only reason why. God is, is, is temporarily uh, blessing other uh, countries just to punish the ones who are supposed to uh, worship God. That's the only reason uh, uh, why God is, is, is um, doing that. And so it, it proves, and you can check it in history. If you don't believe me, check history. Yeah, I'm telling you the truth. If you don't believe me, check history. And uh, that's exactly the reason why the God of the Bible is God. It's historically proven by this. And that's why the God of the Bible is the only one who deserves the credit for who he really is. If you accept God, if you accept Jesus Christ and the Holy Spirit, then he can bless you. If you don't, then he will. And you keep on denying God, the God of the Bible, then he will wipe an entire people out. That's it. He cannot bless you. So it's simple as that. It's simple. And historical uh, evidence proves it. Okay, this is a very important message uh, that came up tonight. And I couldn't leave it till uh, tomorrow because tomorrow I'm very busy. I think it over people. Uh, that's why the God of the Bible and not other gods. The other go if, if you look at the people who worship other gods, if you look at the, the, the Muslim people, if you look at the Hindu people, they are all in poverty. They're all uh, uh, ruled by dictators. They're all ruled, ruled in corru corrupt uh, countries. Uh, there is corruption. There is uh, uh, um, rape and killings and murders, etc., uh, etc. Et all those places where, where the God of the Bible is not worshipped, those countries are in terrible, terrible, terrible shapes. Uh, people, uh, people do all kinds of stuff which is bad, really bad. And, and I don't say that's not in Christian countries, but far and far less, far and far less. Um, in, in, uh, for example, India, women are raped every day, every day. Uh, and, 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 and the economy is not going well over there. It, it's a big country and people are suffering in, in, in poverty, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Africa, they, they have voodoo, they have... Uh, fetishes uh, stuff they have uh, 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 all kinds of evil stuff and what is happening the entire continent of, of Africa is uh, is laying under a curse it's it's poverty stricken it's it's real poor uh, poor poor countries etc even though they have enough richness in the in their in, in the soil um, and and it's corrupt etc etc why because they do not accept the God of the Bible as God. It's, it's simple. They, God cannot bless that. And things like that. Um, well, that's the only reason why the God of the Bible. Okay. Let it get into your head. Accept it, folks, for your own benefit. Okay. Bye-bye. Good night.